pro basketball player LeBron James has just signed an exclusive deal with Warner Brothers Pictures. The new deal is set to cover everything from film, television, and digital media. Warner Brothers CEO and chairman Kevin Sujahara had this to say about the new deal. LeBron James has one of the most powerful, well-known brands in the world, and we are excited to be in business with him and his partner, Maverick Carter and Spring Hill Entertainment. The combination of LeBron's global media presence and Warner Brothers' unmatched production and distribution expertise is a big win for fans everywhere. John Byer saw the new deal between LeBron James and WB. Well, I mean, I'm torn on this a little bit. On one hand, it's great business. LeBron James is a global brand now. So if you're Warner Brothers to join up with that, that's great. Just saw Trainwreck, got to say, I was kind of impressed with LeBron James. But, you know, he's playing a silly version of himself. So it was, it was not exactly acting in the movie, and, but he was actually quite funny, and, and I enjoyed his, his bits and pieces in it. On the other side, I, I'm like, he's a basketball player. He's, he's not an, an actor or a, a media you know, a performer and things like this. So I'm not quite sure how I feel about that. But the one thing I wanted to bring up, though, is this. I first got wind of this story because a lot of people were writing on my Twitter feed, hey, guy, hey, did you hear that LeBron James is going to be in uh, Space Jam 2? And that is actually not true. I'm not saying it's not going to be true at some day or it couldn't possibly be true, but uh, there is no mention from LeBron James, from Warner Brothers or anybody, and nobody's breathing a word about Space Jam 2. Nobody said it's happening. Yes, I know in 2012 LeBron James put out a tweet saying he would love to do a Space Jam 2, but there's nothing to suggest that that's actually happening. But does that mean it can't happen? No, it's Warner Brothers' it's LeBron James, and people are asking for Space Jam 2. So, of course, there's a possibility that at this point, disregard anything you're reading about how they're going to make a Space Jam 2. That has actually not been said by anybody yet. But don't fall over in shock if in three days, a week, a month from now, you hear an announcement gets made. Mark, what do you think? Uh, this is awesome. I th I, this is a huge buy for me, especially even if you're a Cavs fan and you're concerned that LeBron might not be focusing on the court. He's totally going to commit to that team, and he still has a lot of good years in his basketball career. But this is the right time when he's at the peak of his powers. And after that NBA Finals performance, when everybody, even LeBron haters who previously were like, oh, he just went to Miami to win championships and he just kind of copped out. Jordan would never just join an all-star team. Even those haters watched LeBron's performance and were like, yeah, you know what? That dude has a lot of heart. So he won over his critics on the court. This is the next move to conquer the world. He's joining forces with Warner Brothers, and I know that it hasn't been confirmed yet, but he's definitely going to be in Space Jam, too, in my opinion. You're not Warner Brothers. You think, you think that's that's a foregone conclusion? I mean, he ain't going to be in Suicide Squad. I mean, <laughs> he's, I, and but I'd love to see him in Suicide I want to see him in anything. He was he impressed me in Trainwreck, and him in Space Jam, too. It just, I, I was tweeting about this. I tweeted Michael Jordan's reaction to seeing LeBron James in Space Jam 2. I want to see them fight. I want to see, but I don't want to see Mike make a cameo. I want to see them go at it on the court in Space Jam 2. I think it'd be great for his global brand. This is a genius marketing move on both parties' side. Um, I, it's a big buy as long as he doesn't make Shazam 2. Or whatever, Kazam <laughs> 2. Um, so I, uh, yeah, the re I buy this because you strike why the iron is hot. And, mm. and one of the, we were just talking about The Rock. And granted, Ro The Rock had entertainment background working in the WWE, but what we forget is one of the main reasons The Rock got that deal was his performance on Saturday Night Live. When he, right after he was starting his acting career, he came out on Saturday Night Live and he crushed it. And that's when he started getting all his deals with, with Scorpion King and, and he built his career off that. Now with LeBron, um, he, tr train wreck. Everyone's talking about Trainwreck. I agree with you 100%. It's a comedy version of himself, but what it did show is that he was able to do the comedy because you put other guys in there, whether it be a Hulk Hogan or uh, True. Or, yeah. or, or these other athletes. Dan Marino. Like but, right, right. <laughs> but you put these other guys that just don't have that. LeBron showed without a lot, a lot of chops, still could have fun and did his thing, and people were talking about LeBron James in that movie. So you see what he can do. I agree with you. I think Space Jam 2 will probably be the way that you start it, and then... In those movies, those funny, whether it be in the in the television show, whatever it is, start to throw him a little serious scene here and there to see what he can do with drama, and then take that like do what The Rock did, like let it progress because that's what he's going to have to do if he's serious about it. But as far as Warner Brothers inking this guy to a deal, yeah, it's it's a smart move, and just don't I don't need him to come out with an album. 
I don't need him to do anything. I just want, I want to see him do comedy and, and move on. I'm LeBron James, and these are my favorite Christmas hits. <laughs> <Yeah>. I also <laughs> don't see him starring in everything. Like I don't think he's making himself a movie star. I think no. a lot of this stuff is going to be Yet. producing content and, and being an entertainment mogul as opposed to being a movie star. I don't even think he's going to be somebody like Jim Brown or Alex Karras where they transition into being a full-time actor. I don't think that's ever going to happen with LeBron. I think he's going to be more of a producer, but something like Space Jam too. He's going to be taking on the Monstars. You know what my, my biggest laugh in Trainwreck was? And it, it was a scene without Amy Schumer. I won't spoil it, but it was the scene with Bill Hader oh, yeah. and LeBron James just talking about the lunch bill. Yeah. That, that to me, right. that was the funniest scene of the movie to me that I was just like was hysterically off. I thought it was great. He's had these ambitions for a long time. I remember when he had, when he, with the, the Sprite commercials years ago and stuff too. I remember, and it must have been like, what, like 10 years ago or whatever it was, people were talking about how he wanted to get into the acting game and do more. And it just took him, like what Mark was saying before, with the focus on basketball and, and getting the titles. And not to say he's going to lose focus on that too, but I think he's matured in general and, know, and his focus, he knows that he can say, I'm going after the title, but I'm also going to be able to go after this as well.